In this video, we are going to talk about 10 real things poor people do that the rich don't. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. The majority of individuals will deposit their funds in banks and invest in safe investment portfolios. Few people will withdraw the funds from the bank and begin developing products and services for these newly wealthy individuals. Few people will develop the abilities necessary to continue earning more money. The vast majority of people will be on the lookout for their ideal car, property, or latest item to purchase. In 5 to 10 years, we'll most likely be back where we started, if not worse, because there will be more poor people with inflated egos. Here's the thing. If you don't change your viewpoint, nothing else will. Here are the 10 real things poor people do that the rich don't. So let's start. Number 10. Poor people play defense. What are your chances of winning a game solely on defense? Isn't it either, or? And yet, most individuals do exactly that. Their main purpose is to avoid losing, not to win or be the best. They merely want to pay their expenses and avoid debt. The issue with this method is that it will only go you so far. Of course, some individuals are better than that, saving 10% of their income and hoping the stock market doesn't crash so they have something to believe in their old age. But until then, they'll be stuck with a paycheck. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you just want to pay your bills, you'll stay put. If you want to generate genuine money, quit defending and start attacking the celebrities. Shoot for the stars, as a mentor once remarked. Number 9. Poor people don't value freedom. When I mention freedom, I'm not referring to whether or not you live in a democracy. Freedom means doing what you want, how you want, and where you want, rather than the life that someone else wants you to live. It means doing what you want, how you want, and where you want. That's why you'll hear a lot of people say, money isn't everything. Don't live your life solely for the sake of money. Probably the most well-known of them all. Money is the foundation of all evils. Nonetheless, you will come across those that work from sunrise to evening for a few cents merely to keep the bill collectors away from their home. They will cease doing the work they want, not just because they despise the labor, but also because they despise their boss. They might quit that employment if they got the opportunity. That is why money equates to liberty. So, how can you expect to chase money if you think of it as a negative thing? Rich people keep getting richer because it allows them greater freedom to do whatever they want with their lives. Number 8. Poor people work hard for their money. Isn't it a little contentious that you're supposed to work hard for your money? Allow me to explain. What do most people do if they require additional funds? They put forth more effort to get promoted, and if that isn't enough, they may consider working overtime or taking on a second job. The problem is that, regardless of how much you're paid, you're usually limited in your time at the end of the day. And wealthy people are well aware of this, so rather than working hard for their money, they allow their money to work for them. They see money as a tool that will help them earn even more money, rather than simply a piece of paper that they would use to purchase for what they require, as most people do. Of course, you'll almost likely have to work for the money at first, but for the wealthy, it'll be transitory, and for the poor, it'll be permanent. You'll have greater freedom once you've made enough money to replace yourself. Number 7. Poor people possess lottery mentality. One of the things poor people do is put their faith in fiction, such as the possibility of winning the lottery or the notion that they would simply get lucky. You are the architect of your own fortune. Put an end to your daydreaming and go to work. Success is not a lottery, and you do not become successful by wishing for it to happen to you. The only way to achieve success is to continually take big, deliberate action. Make a decision about where you want to go and don't stop until you reach it. Make it a reality. Number 6. Poor people mismanage their money. Knowing how to manage money isn't something you're born with. Rather, it's something you have to learn. Just because you're producing money doesn't guarantee you know how to properly manage it. People believe that learning to manage their money will limit their independence. They don't want to stick to a budget or consider long and hard before making a purchase. They've finally received their salary and intend to enjoy it. However, if you don't manage your money, you'll never achieve financial independence, and a fleeting sense of mindless fulfillment isn't the same as true freedom. Second, many people believe that in order to manage it, you must first make a lot of money. Trust me, it's a lot harder than you think, and if you can't handle your paycheck properly, how do you think you'll handle 10 times that? Number 5. Poor people watch TV Rich people read books. 
Warren Buffett, the world's third richest man, continues to set a goal of reading 500 pages every single day of his life. He understands that the knowledge he has received is priceless. As a matter of fact, it is a remarkably frequent topic among the world's most accomplished individuals. They all swear by the importance of reading as much as they possibly can. Put your television in the corner and pick up a book that will help you grow as a person. This will start the process of becoming the best version of yourself. Number 4. Poor people get paid based on time, rich people get paid based on results. It is critical to understand that results, rather than effort, are the true currency of the world. This is a stunning revelation for some people. It makes no difference whether or if you are the best at your given profession. If you are not making a positive contribution to the larger picture, you will be regarded as a mere number. Don't be scared to make bold decisions that will shock the world and change the course of history. Number 3. Poor people blame others, rich people take responsibility. Don't get into the trap of blaming others. External circumstances are taken away from you when you place blame on them. It is your obligation to make a difference, no matter what the situation is. Rich people get self-confidence from the knowledge that they have complete control over their lives and that if they want better, they will achieve it. Stop blaming and start taking action. Number 2. Poor people focus on saving, rich people focus on investing. You don't have a saving problem, according to Dan Loke. You have an income problem, he added. If you're broke, you need to make more money rather than save more money. The stress that poor people experience is one of the things that rich people do not experience. Rich people see money as a tool, as a resource that can be used to get them where they need to go. The value of money saved does not increase. Thus, put your money to work rather than putting it aside for when you are too old to enjoy your best life. Number 1. Poor people think they have all the answers. If you ask a poor person why they are poor, they will offer you a response or, more accurately, a belief as to why they are poor. Poor individuals, for example, prefer to talk about other people rather than ideas. Poor people have strong opinions on issues that are outside their sphere of influence. Rich people are always learning, improving, and pushing themselves to new heights in their quest for self-improvement. What could be more annoying than folks who have an opinion on everything? People who pay attention to them. There will always be haters, no matter how well you do things or how successful you get. Haters will draw you down to their level if you allow them to feel equal to them. Put on your blinkers and don't glance back, you're not going in that direction. What do you think of our list? Which thing do you like from above list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.